The purpose of this video is twofold. I'm gonna be getting my first car, maybe today, and we're also testing out the video capabilities, oops, sunlight, video capabilities of the LG G8X, what I'm filming on right now. <sighs> Currently walking inverted, that tenant movie's getting to me. Now I'm shooting, audio's being captured on the Comica wireless mic, as you can see, and I'm shooting with the normal plain uh, video mode. I'm not using the manual manual mode. I'm gonna be an honest and say I didn't really plan this out fully. I was just like, you know, why not vlog and also get a video out of the way? Um, to be honest, there's a lot of modes on the there's a lot of options for video when it comes to an LG phone, a, a flagship LG phone. Currently, LG is in a weird position where I'm not really sure what they know or what we know what their flagship phone is, whether it's going to be an LG Wing. Is it still currently the LG V60? I heard LG is not even going to continue the V series, which was their, you know, the phone that had all the features and was geared toward content creation. I don't know why it's saying that. I'm blabbing on. This video isn't about LG's um, product lineup or whatever. I might be getting a car. Isn't that exciting, babe? Yes, it's very exciting. So I'm using the rear camera on the LG, on the G8X. It is the better camera on the phone, the, the main sensor, the wide angle, not the ultra wide. So this is going to be a test also on how well this phone focuses. Like my. This video is in your hands, LG. So try not to fuck up that guy's car. Just for funsies, I'm also going to be editing this whole thing off the LG G8X as well. I'm going to use Premiere Rush. I like Premiere Rush. It's very, it's easier and straightforward than uh, PowerDirector. Even though I paid for that app, it's uh, just, PowerDirector is a lot. Like I can, for some reason, I can't get my wraparound in terms of editing videos on it. I'm also shooting this with no stabilization. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna turn on stabilization in this video or not. Like I said, there's so many modes on this camera for video and in terms of and choices and options. I don't know if I can include them all in this video, but I'm gonna turn on stabilization right now. You can let me know how, what you guys think about that. This is uh, the steady cab mode or the stabilization mode has been turned on. Look at my shorts. And car is going down a bumpy road. One thing to note, one thing I have to note is uh, apparently for a car, highway wild, highway miles, a lot of highway miles is better than small city miles. How are y'all doing? Because of the bumpy roads, the stopping, and the going. Oh, ooh, that guy's car is messed up. But. A lot of shake on this road and the steady cam is on so I'm gonna go turn it off right now and let me and you can see the difference that makes so, steady cam turned off and the immediate difference you'll most likely notice is the crop factor uh, the crop factor has been removed uh, I noticed there's a crop factor when uh, it crops in a good deal when you're using the steady cam for a stabilization. Also, the video quality improves a lot more. There's a lot less noise when you remove stabilization, the electronic stabilization, or what LG calls steady cam. As soon as you turn on steady cam on the LG phone, it's like very noisy. I don't know why. You can see it when there's black involved. But yeah, here's the difference. We're here 
here, folks. Fast forward several hours. Currently going down the stairs. I'm, in, I'm, I'm on the steady cam. So let me know if you're impressed or not. But just came back from the lot and I got a car. It was between the Toyota RAV4 with 160,000 miles and a Honda CRV with 205,000 miles. Both same price. So, guess which one I picked? <laughs> All right, back at the stairs again. This time I'm going down without the steady cam. So, take note on the effectiveness on steady cam and how much I'm uh, bouncy bouncy. Need the stabilization. <laughs> <sighs> We're still on the steady cam, by the way. It was the <sighs> okay. This is my second take on this portion of the video. Right now, I am actually using Adobe uh, Premiere Rush to capture 4K on on this uh, for this part of the video. Originally, I tried to use the LG stock camera app for recording with 4K so you guys can see if there was any sort of difference. But unfortunately, Adobe Premiere Rush cannot play 4K video unless this happens. So let me just quickly talk about using my experience using Premiere Rush on the LG G8X. Uh, it's it's kind of buggy. It's not seamless and nice. Um, I would definitely recommend using PowerDirector. I know Premiere Rush has a much easier, you know, user friendly, you know, user user workflow, but it's just it's on my LG G8X. It's actually very buggy, especially for things like scrolling. Apparently, it can't play 4K footage from any other camera app except if you capture it within the Premiere Rush app. So that sucks. Oh, and um, if you connect, you know, your LG phone to the to yeah, a monitor to make it big screen, um, Premiere Rush keeps crashing. So I don't recommend Premiere Rush really. If um, and uh, I'm not, listen, I'm gonna have to get down and learn how to use PowerDirector. But yeah, this is shooting 4K 30. I think I will upscale. No, I'm gonna do what I usually. I'm gonna this shot. This is for, put in 4K, but I'm gonna downscale everything to um, 1080p. So let me know if you notice anything in terms of um, noise or whatnot. We, we'll know. We'll see it at the same time when I put out this video on YouTube. But just to round up everything, so on to the focusing. This is the first time like I've just you know. Jesus take the focus, <laughs> take Jesus take the focus pull or whatnot. I've just trusted a device to you know get focus right. You know I haven't I didn't use a selfie camera at all. I just use LG's rear camera app because it is the better it is the better sensor on a phone, and it was actually fantastic. You know I was always my face was always in focus. Um, if I'm not in focus now, it's blame Adobe. <laughs> I'm using, again, I'm using the Premiere Rush app to record myself. But, uh, but yeah, I think going forward, I, I'm always going to, I'm going to be, you know, using the rear camera app to capture myself because, yeah, the focusing was great. Uh, LG did, good, did a good job on that. So, um, so for the next video, we're going to this time. I'm uh, I'm going to do another video comparison on the LG on the LG G8X. This time between the LG stock camera app and the LG uh, G Cam app. Now, one benefit of the G Cam app is apparently it can record up to 100 megabits per second, whereas the stock camera app, you know, if you record at 4K, the highest it'll do is 52 megabytes per second, unless you 
at 60 frames a second then in that case the highest it'll do there is 182 megabits per second so I'm gonna have a fun with that video trying to see you know differences and whatnot and I'm also gonna try to test out the HDR you know HDR 10 feature and compare it between those two so subscribe to see that video but thanks for watching and you guys have a good day